Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In the last video, we discussed about few of the configuration that we can apply on NGX Tosser. We discussed about timeout, extended timeout, disable timeout, tab to dismiss, and close button properties. Today, we will be continuing on certain other configuration that we can set. In this video, we will be discussing about progress bar, progress animation, enabled HTML, position class, title class, message class, and toss class. We will go through each of them one by one and we will have a demo on these. First, we will look into progress bar. Progress bar, it takes a boolean value and the default value is false. By default, there won't be any progress bar shown on the toaster message. So what it does is, by enabling this, it will show a progress bar. Let's see how it works. So we can go to our project. So this is the project we uh, developed last time. So we'll continue on this repo itself. So here we will add the progress bar. So we are setting this to true. So by adding this property, it will show a progress bar on the success message. Let's check. You can see there is a progress bar coming up and it is decreasing. So we can go to the next property. The next property is progress animation. It takes a string value. By default, the value would be decreasing, the one which we saw. Since we have not mentioned this, it will be decreasing. Now, if we need the progress in, uh, from left to right, then we can set it as increasing. So let's give this property. So here, I am adding this property and I am giving increasing this time. We are overriding the default value. The default value was decreasing. Now we have mentioned it as increasing. So now when we click the success button, you can see the progress bar is from left to right. Before it was from right to left, which was decreasing. Hope these two properties are clear. It's quite straightforward. Now we will jump to the third property that is the enabled HTML property. So it takes a boolean value and by default it is false. By enabling this value it enables HTML in our message, toss a message. Let's try out that. So here I am giving this enable HTML to true. So we are enabling HTML into our ng toaster message. So here, instead of simple test, we can give a S3 tag. Okay. So we have added S3 and let's check how it behaves. So I saved. Now on clicking success, we can see a change in the message. So it is slightly bigger in size. That is because we have given this extra tag. So since the size is too high, we can make it reduce by giving an H5 tag. So let's see how it looks like now. So on clicking the success message again, you can see the message displayed is smaller in size. So by enabling this HTML, it allows HTML in the message, NGX message that we display. So we can have all the tags that are available in HTML. To use that, only thing is we need to set this enable HTML option to true. Hope this is clear. We'll jump to the fourth property, fourth option, that is the position class. So by default, it takes a value of toast 
top right means the toaster message displayed will be at the top right corner of the page so if we need at bottom right then we can set the class toast bottom right so let's see how it works so i have copied that option name property name now we are setting this to toast bottom right so what till now it was displaying at the top right which was the default position class now we have changed it to bottom right so now the success message will be displayed at the bottom right corner so let's check on clicking the success button you can see the message displayed at bottom right corner likewise we can give top left which will display the message at top left corner let's see you can see it is at the top left corner we can give it to the top right itself which looks good if we have it there this is the standard way of showing a toaster message either at the top right or at the top bottom right so let's see the next property this is the title class a title class takes a string value and the default class that is get applied to the title is toast title so we can create our own class and apply that for that we need to make use of ngdeep to override the style so let's try it try it out so here i am adding this title class and i am giving a value name of title wrapper class name now we will define this title wrapper in our scss file so i have already created uh, the wrapper okay so i will just copy and paste this in our scss so in the scss i am pasting this and save so now when i click the font size of the title will be 16 pixel and i am i am giving a border of 1 pixel solid white color at the bottom and i am giving a padding of 10 pixel for the title so let's check on clicking the show success message it will show at the top right corner and you can see a change in the title now you can see the font size is changed it is now 16 pixel border bottom so there is a border bottom of 1 pixel solid and we have given a padding of 10 pixel so now the ui has changed we have applied some styles we overwritten the normal default class title class that was applied similar to this we can also override the message class for that we have the message class property so i will copy this similar to title class it also takes the string value and the default class is toast message so to override the style we can use this message class and give our own custom class styles to the message portion of the ngx toaster so let's do that so i will copy i am copying this message class property and i am going to set this in our options so here i am giving a class name of message wrapper and i am going to override that style using the ngd okay so in the css i am copying and pasting the style required style so here we are mentioning the message with font size 12 pixel and we are giving a margin top of 10 pixel let's see how it looks now you can see the test font size now changed to 12 pixel 
and there is a margin top of 10 pixel but we have not given it for the information or the error toaster messages we have only set to the success toaster so we have mentioned all these only in this particular to uh, toaster on clicking the show success we are calling the success, uh, success function and here we are telling to display a success message with these configuration if we add these copy and paste it here it will the information and the show error pop-up also behaves in the similar manner so we can jump to the next property that is the toast class so the entire container we can override so you can try it out on your own it's a homework that i'm giving you if any doubts on this you can add this in the comments if you are facing some issues please put this as comments and i can help out so thank you for watching have a nice day if you like the video please click the like button and subscribe also if found useful share it to all your friends thank you have a nice day